Hey guys, Michael McAllister here with Empower LO. I wanted to dive in and give you a brief introduction into the Lead Connector app or the Go High Level app that is available on the App Store and the Google Play Store that you can use to interact with your leads and with your uh, mortgage marketing follow-up system, Empower LO. So jump right in, let's take a look. When you log in, you should see a screen that looks like this. Um, you obviously are not gonna have 504 opportunities uh, until you've been doing this for a while, but when we land on this page, um, you're gonna see your recent activities down below, and then you're going to see your opportunity pipeline. You can scroll and see the number of tasks that you have overdue versus completed. Uh, and then you can also, if you're using the system to monitor your reviews, um, you can also keep track of what your average rating is and how many reviews you've received as well. For now, what we wanna highlight is if you go to the bottom of the screen and you click on the chat bubble, this is where you're going to see all of your unread messages. Right now, Roy, who is in Arizona marketing in Alaska, um, he has zero unread messages, so you don't see anything there. So I'm gonna hit over to recent so that you guys can see what this interface looks like. So you can see the list of all of your different conversations going on. If you want to send a message or you wanna see more details about that conversation, you can go directly into it. Uh, if you click down in the text box below, um, you can type your response here, just like on an iPhone or an Android. Um, if you hit the plus sign in your message box, you have the opportunity to select either your camera, your video, the photos and videos that are on your phone, uh, a template, you have request payment, which is not going to apply to you, so don't worry about it. Um, you can also attach files directly from your phone within the mobile app as well. I wanna show you templates so that you guys can get started right away. If you dive into templates, now these are gonna be a little bit different than what you see because Roy is customizing the hell out of his system, um, but we do have a lot of really, really good pre-built templates in here. Corey will walk you through using these in your lead follow-up, um, but this is how you access them while you are on the go and in your mobile app. So you can click any of these at any time and it'll pre-populate that into here. It will not send it will not send until you click send. So it'll pre-populate the text into the text box, but then you can adjust it in any way that you want um, before you send and then to send, obviously you're just gonna press the little, uh, little paper plane looking button on the right hand side. So this is templates and conversations. Now, if you're on the go, what we recommend is use the app for conversations, use the app for interacting with leads while you're on the go, but plan on logging into the desktop system at least once a day, if not a couple times a day, in order to disposition your leads. However, if you do find yourself on the go needing to disposition leads, you can do so by clicking the menu button in the upper left-hand corner, clicking on opportunities, and then that is going to pull you into your opportunity pipeline. Now, just like on the desktop version, you have multiple pipelines that you can pick from. The ones that come preloaded into your account are app received, pre-application, and prospective agent partners. So if we click on pre-application, that's where you're going to start your journey or where your leads are going to start their journey and land in this responded column at the point that they respond. Um, the other thing that I'll point out here is that by default, all opportunity statuses show in your opportunity pipeline. But once you change that to open, which is what it should be so that you're not seeing all of your lost and abandoned leads in here, then your view should be a lot cleaner and it should save that as you log back into the mobile app later. Now, if Roy wants to change the status of any of these leads, he can click on the little button with the arrows pointing opposite directions and he can select which stage he wants to move this lead into. When he does this, the lead will move from the responded stage where the lead is, the opportunity is, into the proper stage, triggering any of the proper automations or any of the automations that you have set up for those different pipeline stages. In order to switch what pipeline they are in, you would have to open the opportunity. In order to open the op opportunity, you're gonna click the white space on the opportunity card. Now, once you go in here and you hit the pipeline drop down, now you can choose between, let's say, uh, this was a lead that was in pre-application, you ended up getting an application from them, uh, you can move them to the app received pipeline, 
choose what stage you want them in and save it there. You can also mark their status as being lost, abandoned, or won from here as well. So this is all from clicking on the blank white space on an opportunity. That's where you get the ability to edit that information. Going back to the home screen, You'll see at the bottom, you also have review requests that you can track here, and you've got a calendar. This is something that Corey will help you set up later on in the process, so don't worry about it right now. Um, anytime you wanna just see a list of every lead that you've generated, whether or not they've responded, you can head over to contacts and you will find all of your contacts in a list here. All right, that's it for the mobile app, guys. Good luck with working your leads, and we'll see you at the top.